Get your camera, get your camera. <laughs> Open the door. Say that. First time we've been able to have a fire in a couple weeks. It's not. Nice. Welcome to OLOPRV. We're the Wagners. I'm Curtis. I'm Jonathan. If you do like our content, hit that subscribe button before we even get started. The reason why we said full experience this time is because I feel like this is the best full, well-rounded video we've ever made, and I hope you get to experience it the way we did. Correct. It was a wonderful place. South trail. Island Trail. We're doing the South Island Trail. Trying to find a good uh, place to go into this salt lake. Good swimming hole. What is the lake called again? It's the Salt Lake? The Great Salt Lake. The Great Salt Lake. I knew I was missing something. I always say salt. Great. I'd say Salt Lake. But salt the Great fine, but Salt Lake is really what it is called. But you know, there's a city, Salt Lake. So we were driving around the island and uh, it's a fun drive. And on the, where the, the old ranch is, on the west side of the island, I believe, it's, it's about an 11 mile drive on the island. We were looking for a different swimming hole because we didn't like the first one. Yes. And uh, that was a, a total bus, no swimming hole. But we did find out where most of the bison are and there were two <laughs> huge herds of bison out there almost all the bison were in this one yeah. <laughs> if you if you want to see bison and you don't want to drive all the way through yellowstone go to antelope island go to the ranch and you'll see hundreds and hundreds of bison it was it was it was pretty spectacular so and they have uh it's like a working ranch where you can actually go and help and do things it's, it's interactive for kids interactive yes mm -hmm. it, it's Antelope Island impressed us very much, and we both liked it a lot. Um, the swimming was fantastic. The little grill was kind of interesting. I don't think we have footage of it, but it's it. You didn't think of it. I don't know the term. Plus we ate. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. It was interesting. They have food there. Um, you know, it's just snacky food, but um, they only have like a couple tables, so you have to sit at tables with everybody. We enjoyed. We enjoyed that. <laughs> Other than you can't go in with a wet bathing suit at a beach. It's very interesting. Go ahead.
the segment right here is about the sinkholes that we encountered. We were biking, had a great time biking, and I fell into a sinkhole, and I was telling Curtis to be careful with the sinkholes. deeper sinkhole it was too late it was too late by the time i said anything i found the deepest one so the front of my bike literally fell into this hole up to the handlebars i went ass over tea kettle and i could somehow i didn't break hurt anything. myself i bruised myself but i didn't break the bike i didn't hurt the bike and uh, i didn't hurt myself which was which was a good thing because that would stink I mean, you know how you see like glimpses of your life whenever something tragic happens? I saw a glimpse of, of his life, <laughs> but I couldn't stop. Like I was in shock that he could actually fall, rotate over those handlebars. He was in such shock that he was laughing. <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh. Uh -huh. It's just one of those things that happen when you're under pressure and that's the only thing that your body knows what to do and that's my nervous laughter. <laughs> so. That's the second time on a bike I've had something happen that he freezes and he just busts out laughing and it's you like... You can't help someone when they fall and when you've seen all this happen in your eyes you're like this isn't real. This is totally not real. But you can't laugh. You gotta, you gotta act shocked. Oh. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> That's better than laughing. I <laughs> know. I can't help it. That's just what I do. Tell us, your... tumble. Tell us about your adventure, hon. Yeah, come across the salt lake running from us. Bison and they hit a hole. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, it hit a hole. And it was didn't look like a hole. That's what it is. It's a whole bunch of uh, sand that is soft. I don't so when you get to these holes, it's just water underneath it. So you just go right into it. And I'll show you a little picture of one later on when we go back. Yeah. All right. Have fun. We're about to go skinny dipping in the Salt Lake. See if Curtis lets us, uh, shows us, gives us another demonstration of how to find. These are those holes I was talking about. See how they look like that? The whole front of his bike went inside of a hole. Been in the hole. <laughs> there you go. That has to be better. Oh, that's a crutch rocket. Uh -huh. That one's good. I'm Let's go. Backing up. Maybe what? Because I'm Okay. We ended up going back to the water, and um, this is where we went skinny dipping at. And it was actually our favorite spot right now, and oh, yeah. we know exactly where it's located now. At the White Rock Campground, there's a big rock in the distance. And it's sticking white. out the water, it's a huge rock, you can't really miss it. And it's white, and you go about a mile past it, but it takes about four miles to get there all together. Right, because the level is so low. 
the right. lake levels are low right now. Yeah, because it hasn't rained in a long time. Right. So it is really low right now. Yeah. But that was our favorite spot. The reason why we went there is because the first day we went to the uh, Great Salt Lake yeah. was uh, mulky water. It kind of like was mud or sand. I oh. think it was mud and sand and clay. and It was just nasty. You, All the way up you to, your knees. to your knee. And it, it, it was just not... It was not a fun experience for us. And we asked everybody, what was your, what's the best place to go swimming? And uh, everybody says, well, everything's mulky. But we found one spot right by the a mile past the rock yeah. towards the water. Um, that was, was hard sand. Hard sand, just like you would at a beach. And uh, even though it was still shallow, we yeah. could walk out there, w way out there without having to have sand up to our knees. Right. Because that was kind of... Um, right. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> So I did go uh, skinny dipping towards the end of the video, yes. and uh, I just, it was basically... We both did. Yes. We are new, uh, nudist at heart, I guess, and uh, we just, we're not ashamed of our bodies, and, uh, you know, it, and this will give me confidence and um, a reason to work out more. <laughs> but there was nobody else out there, and we would never disrespect anybody Correct. when we do these when we ever go nude somewhere, so. And to keep it PC, we did have to block it out, so. The worst Hope block. you enjoy it anyway. That was the worst block job ever. This is my very first editing, um, trying to edit some of my nudity out. Um, the worst block ever, so please don't judge that part. <laughs> that was. Hello. It's my honey getting naked. I am getting naked. Jaybird. Hey. 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 Give me your knee braces. Yeah. Look how far we had to go out. So far. Get to Waist deep. <laughs> Waist deep. But there were a lot of bugs on the shoreline yes. of where we were swimming at, and I uh, have footage of that only to show that there are bugs out there a lot and I don't want you to think we didn't we skipped all that the guy told us it was brine shrimp yep. dying mm -hmm. on the shoreline and these bugs eat the shrimp mm -hmm. and there was millions of them but they don't bite you they don't mess with you you they feel them but they yeah. don't bite or nothing they just kind of right they go around on. you they're not interested in you thank goodness because it would have been a mess. But and I usually would have thought that was gross, and but I didn't really feel that way because I guess I enjoyed the experience so much that I overlooked the bugs. I mean, it's kind of, most people say, oh, yeah, probably couldn't overlook that. But it, once you get there, it's like, uh, I don't know. It was, I can't wait to go back, to be honest with you. Yes. So I can't say anything negative about the darn bugs. Right. As much as I they want there, to. But they were there, but nothing negative about them. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Oh, water. But we had so much fun. The buoyancy in the water is totally different, and uh, that's what I love so much about it. Right. Is you can't physically put yourself inside the water; it just kind of pops you back up. Right. I've never experienced. Yes, yeah, so once you're floating like on your back, and you think, "Okay, I'm done." So normally you would just put your legs down and stand up. But this you go to put your legs down, and it just pushes them back up. So you have to force your legs down to the sand. 
kind of dig your toes in and then, <laughs> then get yourself out of it. It's, it's, it's very odd feeling too. Yes, it's the stuff I, I have uh, body acne sometimes on my back or whatever, and uh, it cured them right up in two yep, days. Cleared it right up. It's so cool though. I'm scared about this one. This is all of our stuff. Poor Curtis's shoes and my shoes in this cup. <laughs> these bugs, I don't know if you can see them. These bugs are the I think it's the salt. I don't know. Can't wait to get in here. See y'all later. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification. Bing. Good. Yeah, pretty good. I think I can easily.